I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do something. Joe Biden was inaugurated as our 46th president in January, just two weeks after supporters of former President Trump stormed the U.S. Capitol. In February, the United States formally rejoined the Paris Climate Agreement, aimed at limiting global warming. A container ship ran aground in the Suez Canal in March, holding up billions in trade. The ship was freed six days later. We the jury in, the in April, a Minneapolis jury found former police officer Derek Chauvin guilty of murdering George Floyd. Pretty amazing. That May saw the successful splashdown of the first operational space flight by a private company, Elon Musk's SpaceX. June saw the partial collapse of a 12-story condominium in Surfside, Florida, killing 98 residents. July brought the 32nd Summer Olympic Games to Tokyo, a year after being postponed. The U.S. topped the medal count with 113. August saw the withdrawal of American troops from Afghanistan after a two-decade war that took the lives of over 2,400 U.S. service personnel. In Texas. In September, the Texas Heartbeat Act took effect, banning abortion after about six weeks. The Supreme Court has declined to block the law, saying it's a question for lower courts. October brought the welcome news that the World Health Organization had endorsed the world's first vaccine against malaria. In November, the Atlanta Braves won their fourth World Series, defeating the Houston Astros four games to two. And this month, tornadoes ripped through the South and Midwest, killing at least 91 people. And the FDA authorized two pills to treat COVID a potential game-changer in our now years-long fight against the disease.